know that fluoride isn't just another element on the periodic table, but is of great significance in the field of dentistry. In this video, we will take a look at the history of fluorides and how they have helped to improve oral health around the world. Frederick McKay, a dentist, visited Colorado Springs in the USA in 1901. There, he noticed almost every patient had permanent stains on their teeth, which he called mottled enamel. They were white or yellowish-brown spots, streaked or scattered irregularly on the tooth surface. It appeared like the dead paper white color of a china dish. Later, due to the area that these stains were found in, it came to be known as the Colorado stains. People with such stains were noted to have almost no cases of caries. McKay then formed the Colorado Spring Dental Society in 1902 to investigate this lesion. Additionally, he also sent out letters to dentists in the Rocky Mountain regions, but since the answers he received were limited, he had to put a rest to his further investigation. In 1908, McKay flew to St. Louis, where he practiced orthodontics for three years. But during his stay there, unlike in Colorado Springs, he didn't find very frequent cases of people with mottled enamel. At the annual dentist meeting, when he raised questions regarding the patients with stains, upon hearing other dentists also share the same concern, he understood that there were other regions too where such stains were found. At this point, Frederick McKay had two objectives. The first was to define the exact geographical area of the stain, that is, to locate the endemic areas. Second, he wanted to find a known dental researcher who would help him with his research. For this, he approached G. V. Black, who initially did not believe in McKay's theory. He asked McKay to send samples first and based on that agreed to visit the next annual meeting. In preparation for this visit and as a first step in mapping out the entire endemic area, McKay, along with Isaac Burton and A. Fleming, visited a public school with 2945 kids in Colorado Springs and noted that 87.5% of the students native to this area had Colorado stains. This new information was given to Black when he arrived in Denver in 1909. He then described the histological findings of the lesion at the State Dental Association meeting, along with his observations noted during the several weeks he had been touring the Rocky Mountain areas. His interest, along with his authority and prestige, raised the study from the status of local curiosity to that of an investigation, meriting the earnest concern of all dental research workers. Black's findings were also published in a paper entitled an endemic imperfection of the enamel of the teeth, heretofore unknown in the literature of dentistry. Later, in 1912, McKay discovered a paper written by Dr. J. M. Eager, reporting the unusual occurrence of brownish-colored stains among the majority of residents in Naples. Eager had termed these stains as denti di chiai. This further broadened McKay's curiosity about the mottled enamel he discovered in Colorado Springs. McKay, along with G. V. Black in 1916, conducted studies on individuals living in 26 different communities in the USA and concluded that there is the presence of an unidentified factor which is responsible for the mottling of the enamel. They assumed that the factor might be present in the water which was consumed during the tooth calcification period. This assumption was based on their observation of the residents of Britain. The water supply of Britain changed from shallow wells to deep wells after 1898. Here, people born before 1898 were noted to have the normal appearance of teeth, while people born after 1898 had enamel mottling. In 1918, McKay confirmed the presence of an unknown element in the water supply to be the definitive causative factor for enamel mottling. H. V. Churchill, a chemist in 1931, analyzed the water in various regions. He, along with McKay, conducted water analysis in areas with mottling of enamel and found increased levels of fluoride in the water. This thus led to the conclusion of fluoride being the mysterious factor in the causation of the mottled appearance of the enamel. The US Public Health Service went on to appoint Dr. Trendley H. Dean, who then conducted the 21-city study of the shoe leather survey. Dean then came up with the Dean's Fluorosis Index or the Mottling Index in the year 1934, 
which we will study in detail in the upcoming videos. He also then published the 21 city study in 1942 after having discovered that 1 ppm of fluoride reduces the chances of occurrence of caries by 60%. Later, in 1945, the world's first artificial fluoridation plant was started at Grand Rapids in the USA and in 1969, WHO advocated that 1 ppm of fluoride in community water supplies was a practical and effective public health measure. In conclusion, fluoride was thus identified as the essential element for reducing dental caries and this led to the introduction of various methods of topical application of fluorides for individuals and water fluoridation projects for communities. For more such videos, download our app and watch videos seamlessly and learn through visually engaging mind maps. We hope we made public health dentistry slightly better for you. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next one.